Hello friends, how are you all? I hope you are all doing great. Welcome to the another video of ratio analysis. So friends, in today's video we will discuss about liquidity ratios. We have already learned the basics of ratio analysis. So now it's time to learn different types of ratios one by one. And we are starting with liquidity ratios. Okay, so what is liquidity ratio? If we go by the name, liquid word suggests about something that is not fixed or static. It suggests about something that is moving and something that is not constant. And with the word ratio, we try to show the relationship between the particulars of our financial statements. So now we can understand that these ratios will show the relationship between the two items of balance sheet that are not constant and that are current assets and current liabilities. So basically liquidity ratios will suggest the mini, uh, relationship between the particulars of current assets and current liabilities and if we find the detailed definition then it will be liquidity ratios are a measure of the ability of a company to pay off its short term liabilities these ratios tell how quickly a company can convert its current assets into cash so that it can pay off its liability on a timely basis the different ratios that we find under this head are current ratio liquid ratio and quick ratio or acid test ratio okay so let us start with current ratio first as the name suggests it will show the relationship between two current items of a balance sheet that are current assets and current liabilities so formula is very simple current assets divided by current liabilities now here we can put current liabilities on top and divide with current assets also it won't change the meaning of this formula but just to maintain the consistency we don't use this formula and use this formula only okay so as we know current assets will include cash and cash equivalents accounts receivables stock marketable securities prepaid expenses and outstanding income current liabilities will have accounts payable bank order of cash credit outstanding expense incomes received in advance short term provisions and long term debts payable during the current year ok so if we go into the example then I have a balance sheet of a company here balance sheet of Sneha limited and if we check the list of current liabilities it has creditors bills payable bank overdraft cash credit and outstanding expenses this all my this all are my current liabilities total is 2,85,000 and if we check the asset side then the balance sheet has stock, debtors, bills receivables, cash equivalents and prepaid expenses and these all are my current assets the total given is 7,34,000 okay so if we try to find the current ratio from this information it will be 7,34,000 divided by 2,85,000 so the answer of current ratio will be 2.5754 is to 1 ok so approximately 2.58 is to 1 so against every 1 rupees of current liability we have rupees 2.58 at cur as current assets so the next ratio here is liquid ratio the formula is just like current ratio liquid assets divided by liquid liabilities ok so here first we will have to understand what are liquid assets and what are liquid liabilities ok so let us start with liquid assets first liquid assets are part of my current assets so if these are my current assets then some of them will be called liquid assets ok so the meaning is given here liquid assets are assets that are set to be converted into cash in the next deal ok so among all the current assets those assets which are set to be converted into the cash in the next deal those assets will be my liquid assets ok so among all current assets we have to exclude two assets that are stock and prepaid expenses apart from these two assets all other current assets are my liquid assets why we excluded stock and prepaid expenses because stock will take some time to generate the cash ok and prepaid expenses in prepaid expenses we have already paid the cash 
and they will result in some service when we make the next deal okay so we have to exclude stock and prepaid expenses when we find liquid assets okay so here we can also write current assets minus stock and minus prepaid expenses to find liquid assets okay now if we try to understand liquid liabilities so just like assets among all my current liabilities some will be called liquid liabilities okay so generally we don't consider bank overdraft and cash credit as liquid liabilities because they are secured against inventories okay so to find liquid liabilities we have to exclude bank overdraft and cash credit from current liabilities so here if we want to find liquid liabilities current liabilities less bank overdraft and less cash credit okay so if we check the balance sheet here again we have current liabilities total 285000 okay and we have to remove 70000 of bank overdraft and 15000 of cash credit and if we check the assets then the total is 734000 we have to remove stock and prepaid expenses to find liquid assets okay so here 734000 less stock of rupees 96000 less prepaid expenses of rupees 153000 divided by current liabilities 285000 less bank overdraft 70000 and cash credit 15000 okay so it will be 4 lakh 85000 divided by 2 lakh so 485 divided by 2 lakh and our answer will be 2.42 is to 1 now those who believe in prudence concept of accounting give another formula for liquid ratio that is liquid assets divided divided by current liabilities and not liquid liabilities as we know that prudence concept works one way it says ignore future income but consider future expenses so here if we put this concept it will have a meaning that all current liabilities are my liquid liabilities whether they are secured or not okay so here we have to put liquid assets that are 4 like 85000 and total of current liability that is 2 like 85000 okay so as per prudence concept our liquid ratio will be 1.70 is to 1 okay and now moving on to our last liquidity ratio that is quick ratio or acid test ratio as we know when acid falls on our skin it quickly burns the skin so similarly this ratio will suggest if we happen to pay our liabilities quickly how many assets we have against it that will be quickly converted to cash quicker than liquid and current assets okay so the formula here will be quick assets divided by liquid liabilities okay and quick assets will include cash and equivalents marketable securities plus bills receivables okay so as per our balance sheet we have cash and equivalents of rupees 150000 bills receivables 75000 and marketable securities are not given in this balance sheet okay so here it will be 150000 plus 75000 and total of liquid liabilities as we found above it is 2 lakh rupees okay so 1 lakh 50000 plus 75000 that is 2 lakh 25000 divided by rupees 2 lakhs so our quick ratio will be 1.125 is to 1 and here also if we put prudence concept then our formula will be quick assets divided by current liabilities so quick assets are 2 lakh 25000 and current liabilities are 2 lakh 85000 so here our answer will be 0 0.7895 is to 1 okay 
So these were our liquidity ratios that we studied in this video. This three ratio will test the liquidity of a firm at three different levels. Okay, so that's it for today. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye.